Nice job, Brian. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brent and today we have a pretty cool video for you because we got this Mercedes 300 SD turbo diesel and pulled it out of the back corner of a body shop for the first time in 18 years. The owner of it bought it 19 years ago. He drove it for about a year and then he put it in the corner to sit. Now I know there's probably a ton of Mercedes enthusiasts watching this video. I've personally really started to like older Mercedes the more that we've worked on them. I think they look really cool, but I want to ask you guys the question of the video. So leave your answers in the comments below. What year do you guys think this car is and how many miles do you think the engine would last without being rebuilt? From what I've heard, these cars last for a very long time and you could drive them into the ground. So I'm curious what you guys have to say. Now, wasting no time hopping right into the detail, we started with the wheels and the first thing we do is spray them off and then we use our PNS brake buster along with some iron fallout remover to get all of that dust and everything off of them. And I want to take a second to let you guys know that you should definitely make sure you're subscribed to our channel because if you're not, we have an insane video coming up next week. It's probably our biggest video that we've ever posted to date. We even have Jason Kilmer, one of the world's best detailers, flying out from Seattle to come work on this car with us. So you really don't want to miss that video. Make sure you're subscribed. Can anyone comment what these wheels are called? And if you had this car, would you switch them for something different or would you keep them the same? And I've never seen a set like them before. I think a common spot that a lot of detailers or at home detailers might miss is inside the gas cap area. So make sure when you're washing your cars that you always get inside of there. And I recommend using a degreaser with a soft bristle brush to get in those nooks and crannies and then you can just spray it all away. Now moving on into the engine bay, we'll spray degreaser on it, let it sit for about 10 to 15 seconds and use our brushes to agitate it and spray it all away. And I'm gonna give bonus points to anybody who can comment where the turbo in this engine is located. 
I'm going to keep reiterating this every time we do it and anytime I see it. It's always the worst when dealerships put their badges on the back of cars. I really don't like the way it looks and I know a lot of people don't either. So anytime a customer asks us to take them off, we always film it and it's always very satisfying to do. And every time we prep the paint for polishing, we always do the exact same process and it seems to have a great result every single time. So we'll go ahead and we'll do iron decon on the whole car to get all the iron out of the clear coat. And then we'll go ahead and clay bar the entire car, spray it all off. And then after it's completely dry, we can polish the car. And being that this is a silver car, they usually hide imperfections very well. But once we were able to turn the lights off and get a spotlight shined into certain areas, you can really see how bad this paint was. And moving right on to the interior, it was in desperate need of a detail as well, so we started by vacuuming everything. And luckily with this car, we could actually pull the front carpet out of the car and clean it outside, which made it a lot easier on us. But it's actually crazy how big of a difference it makes just by vacuuming a car.
Now for the seats, we're going to go ahead and use our tornador to get everything out of the cracks and crevices and then follow that up with APC and a brush. And once it's clean, we'll go ahead and use a leather conditioner to make it nice and soft again. And I want to ask you guys if you know what's special about the color of the interior of this car. If you do, leave it in the comments below.
Okay, so after getting the interior cleaned and put back together, it was finally time to move on to the paint, and it's actually really hard to show the imperfections on camera. We did our best, and you can still see the swirls and how bad this paint was, and you'll be able to see the before and after, so we were definitely able to make a huge improvement. After getting everything polished, we went ahead and added a ceramic sealant and we dressed the tires and this car was good to go. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. And again, don't forget to subscribe because we have our biggest video yet coming next week and you really do not want to miss that. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.